Hey, I'm Meg with Paul Shad in the Morning and 96.9 The Cat, and uh, this is my friend Buddy. And <laughs> you may have heard my commercials on 96.9 The Cat, and if you have and you're coming to check out more of my story, welcome. I'm very glad to see you here. And if you haven't, and maybe you've just been referred to Carolina Neurosurgery and Spine Associates, and you wanted to find out a little bit more about the practice and the patients, well, welcome. I had a four-day headache and it just wouldn't go away. I mean, you think you have a headache, no big deal, right? The headache turned into four days, went to urgent care, wound up in the hospital overnight in the neuro ICU, and they thought maybe it was an aneurysm, something along those lines, and very scary. So they kept me overnight, they did some more tests, and then the PA from Carolina Neurosurgery and Spine, who happened to be on duty that day, came in and said, well, the good news is you don't have an aneurysm. He said, but, you do have a brain tumor. And, you know, so you're thinking, okay, great. And then, wait, what did you just say? So I'm told I have a brain tumor and we set up a consultation with Dr. Van Poppel because I went home and I did my homework and found out, yes, they've been here in Charlotte for 75 years, been treating adults and children and that they are, you know, top of the game when it comes to this kind of situation with a brain tumor. And it was a golf ball sized brain tumor and I had a lot of questions, but you know, you kind of get caught up in the whole whirlwind of it. And so I made sure to bring two of my best friends with me so that they could take notes. And uh, cause I knew I would forget to ask certain questions. And then we met Dr. Van Poppel and wonderful man, absolutely wonderful man. And addressed all of my I guess the questions that maybe you would forget to ask, you know, and as a female, you're like, how much of my head are you going to have to shave? And, you know, how is it going to heal? And what are we doing as far as, you know, what's the recovery time and this and that and the other? Well, he answered all of those questions and then some, and then was the kicker because my family all lives out of town. They're all in Michigan. So with them being out of town, my dad, wanted to be on FaceTime because he had questions for Dr. Van Poppel. And so I asked him ahead of time, is this okay? And he said, I have no problem with that whatsoever. So time was not even an issue. You know, there's times that you feel you're in a doctor's office or in a surgeon's office and you're being rushed out the door. No, he gets it. You know, he gets it. This is a situation where you're going to be scared. You're going to have a lot of questions. And he said, no matter how much time this is going to take, he says, I'm here for you. And that was the biggest thing for me because I know I'm a patient, but he also treated me like a person. And that, you know, was really big. 